brothers and sisters in Christ. Through the sacrament of baptism, we are initiated into Christ's holy church. We are incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation and given new birth through water and the Spirit. All this is God's gift offered to us without price. In baptism, we're walking into God's arms. We're walking through that door into God's presence that's there for us all the time. And that's God's grace. God sees me in a fullness that I may never see myself, but I know is there for me. If I don't have that action, if I don't see it enacted in my church time and time again, I can forget. Us and upon this water, that this fount may be your womb of new birth. Baptism is one of the two sacraments we observe in the United Methodist Church. In scripture, Christ was baptized by John the Baptist. And that action was an action of putting oneself right with God. It was Christ claiming that identity as a human being. And that became the launching pad for Christ's ministry. John Wesley saw baptism as a means of grace, a way in which we felt, knew, and saw God's grace. The water is the symbol of that. We see it as cleansing. We come through the water claiming who we are as a child of God. One of the tasks when we carry that into the home is to remind one another, for parents to say to children when they're giving them a bath, or as they're brushing their teeth. Look at the water. You know, when you were baptized, we used water because water helps us know that God cares for us and gives us life. As we wash our hands for the first time of the day, do we use that time to say, thank you God for the abundance of grace that surrounds me and help me remember it's not just for me alone, but for everybody who you claim as your child and that means everybody in the world. Baptism is not meant to be an alone act. It is an act of the body of Christ. This video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through world service donations.